What's up, YouTube? My name is GPX Films, and this is my GPX Film School. So today's lesson is how to add text to your Adobe Premiere Pro, to a music video, to a vlog, to anything that you're editing. And this tutorial is for only beginners. I know the experts already know about these type of stuff, but I'm not worrying about the experts. I'm worrying about you. Okay. So right now, this is my Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. So of course you click and you drag to the timeline. And this is the artist I'm working with right now. And this video is a practice video to show you how to add text. Okay. So there's two things. You can add text and add it on the video, or you can just um, create a colorful background or maybe just a regular black background. And I'll just show you the steps. Okay. So this is the video. So um, you click on essential graphics, which is on your right hand side, depending on how you format your Adobe Premiere, it should be on the right hand side, right under effects. So you click on essential graphics. So now this is all the essential graphics text. Um, there's plenty of texts you can play around with, but I like to use basic because I mean, it's more easier. So you just got to click down is in um, alphabetical order. So you click on basic, you click and you drag to the timeline, right? So now your text here. So what you do is you make sure you click on the text on the timeline. You click on the T on your left hand side by the tool, you click and then you click on the title, your title here on your video screen. So you click and you delete or backspace, either or. And now let's name this title GPX Film School. And that's how you add a text. You click on play, it's there. So let me just remove the audio because I do not need the audio. So the audio won't distract y'all. Okay. So I press play and the text plays. Of course, you can make it shorter by using the razor tool on the tool on box section. You click on razor tool. You just chop what you don't need and you just delete. Okay, so this is one way you can use it. The second way is you can actually go to your project. You click on new item. You click on color mat. And you just click OK. And you select what color you need. Let's say I want a red background to add to my title. So you click on OK. You click on, you type in red. You click OK. And now we created a red background. So now what you do is you click and you drag it to your timeline. And remember the title is underneath. This is the title. So I can just literally drag up. And now the title and the background is merged together. All right, this is a basic tutorial for beginners. This is not for experts. We don't really care about the experts. This is for beginners. So if you did learn something, you click like and you comment. And I'm dropping videos almost every day. So you might just learn something. 